Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach about the employee salary calculation system using C Sharp WPF. So you already we, we complete the uh, C Sharp student marks calculation, how to add two numbers, so all the things we have completed. We are not watching. I have given the uh, playlist below. You have to watch them my all the WPF application development using C Sharp. So now let's go to the file. New project. Now here you can choose here P sharp uh, here Windows application. Here you have to select as uh, here you have to select as uh, desktop or uh, desktop. If you click desktop, you can see here Windows for W application. All things are there. Now we have to click on the WPF application. Here deeply WPF dot net here dot net WPF application. So click on this one. Click create. next. Here to create here employee salary. Hit next. Now click create. Now here blank form has been display here. Here it says blank form. Okay. So here this is the code we have designed by the WPF. Okay, the XML. This is the XML file you can see here. Yeah, design pattern and at the same XML pattern, right? You are getting here. Okay, so here we have to uh, width we have to give as 350. Okay, width enough, right? So, okay, this is width enough. I'm going to zoom a little bit, right? right? This is a simple form, right? I'm going to design the one. So, let's what I'm going to do is the same code I just copy and paste it here the uh, employee registration system. Okay, I'll be explained. Don't worry. I will be modify it inside the grid. I am going to paste it. This yes, all things is student registration system. Okay, marks calculation system. The first one I am going to change the ID. Employee title you have to give us employee salary calculation. Right. Change it as employee salary calculation. Here first you have to row definition. First you have to get uh, grid row definition starting here closing here row definition means this is the row definition one two three three your separate three first you have height to, to, to 250 asterisk mean it will be adjust according to your text box and uh, labels right attack height finally you have calculated over here 450 it will be calculated right after that you have to put the stack stack mean the panel Column one, row one, the first one. Okay, so after that grid, we have to separate by that. Okay, this one should be the uh, 100, this is 250, right? Okay, that's how we have to do the things, right? That's the thing you have to do it. After that, we have to calculate the spaces. 25 means this is 25, 5 means we have to leave the spaces 5. Uh, this is 25, leave the space 5, you have to in between the text boxes and spaces, we have calculated the height. Right. After that, we have to create the labels, this is a label marks 1, so grid 0, question 0, text field, it's a marks 2. Here we have to, this one should be not a marks, you have to calculate this one as an employee name. Employee name. Here again, we change it as employee name. After that, this one should be the employee name. VMT name, right? This text field. How the second one? Label salary. The so salary here also text box TXT salary. This also TXT, not T, uh, T EMP employee. TXT EM, TXT employee text field name. TXT salary. After that, this one should be tax. Label tax. Text box or TX text box text tax. Don't change the name. After that, 
salary tax after that we have a net sell so total is net sell net salary text here out your type net sell that's it that's the thing you have to write after that the average grade all then get removed get rid of it these lines keep cal and clear button only okay clear and cut these two spaces we get rid of this spaces here the height this one only no need them second one also need no need them right here okay now it's okay okay like the simple one the height also this is a bigger height you have to reduce the iso height uh, height as well uh this height we have given 400 let's see 400 check it 350 300 you have to put it to 300 it's enough okay that's it enough right that's it that is enough in 200 350. right perfect now what you're going to do is you have to implement all the things successfully now i'm going to go to main window here we have to load the code so button for the name of the button we have to put it two button for the cal now this is a clear okay so you try to over here implement that cal dot click the method has been cal calculate so so try to implement this one generate the method calculation now the error go away now here what you're going to do is you have to write a code so what's the name uh, you have to write this one also double also double data type right? double uh, basic cell bsl after that uh, bsl after that uh, basic salary tax and cell both of the create three variables we assign to the relevant text fields b cell equal txt sorry here double dot pass so right txt txt salary dot text right now if we have to check the condition if b cell greater than 550,000 include 10 percentage tax is greater than b cell this sorry b cell include 10 percent tax so i'll write tax get the tax t equal b cell into into 10 percent tax else if b cell third about 35 include 5 percentage tax so you have to write this one should be 500 5 else no tax so tax equal 0 that's it that's the thing you have to do it right after that we have to print out this all the things so tax dot set tax uh, text equal so print out uh, tax so tax what is the text box name txt tax dot set tax uh, there's a property text equal this text what is the text you are getting you have to print out here dot to string method to string method. that's it simple stuff what it's getting here dot text right perfect out of the have to call the net salary in cell we have to create the variable in cell already equal b salary got minus it tax 
So to get the next cell as well. Txt in cell dot text equal n salary dot to strip. That's it. After that, we have to implement another button, which is a button clear dot click equal you have to press tab tab key on your two times with keyboard okay it's, it's generated okay this method will be generated it's generated here you have to clear all the fields uh you have to, once you calculate the things if you click the clear so we have to clear uh txt emp name dot clear txt uh, salary dot clear txt tax need to clear txt insert need to be clear after that we are focus the cursor on txt employee name dot focus that's it now let's run and check whether it's working fine or not now you can see the application is loaded at. now i am going to enter the uh, employee name uh, raja salary 55000 click calculate here 10 percentage tax has been calculated and salary also calculated if it is above 35000 include 5 percentage tax so you have to change it as a 50,000 and 35,000. Uh, 35,000, it's, it's got tax become. Let's see if. Like above 35,000. So here 35, set 6,000. Here 5 percentage will be displayed. If you are right like this, it's above 35. 35, it's, it's calculated as a no tax. If it is a 26,000, there is no tax calculator, the same salary has been displayed. I hope you guys you understood things. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Anytime. If you love my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.